you uh, are even involved with the Kansas City Indians? Uh, um, and I just introduced myself uh, in Cherokee language. Um, I am one of the coordinators of the youth activities at the Kansas City Indian Center, and uh, also I'm a dancer and choreographer. And so we do, uh, we have culture night every month, and we just we do a series of uh, different activities. Wow. Um, and I always try to relate it to. Um, oh, sorry. Something. <laughs> That's my son, actually. <laughs> I try to relate it to something that has to do with the season. Um, we have a lot of people from from different nations here. We have uh, we've got actually several other Cherokee people, um, quite a few Lakota uh, children. We have uh, Bene children. Um, sometimes a family, a Winnebago family comes. Um, there are people who are indigenous but from Mexico, and so we uh, have a lot of different traditions. But one of the things, obviously, that is unifying is that we happen to be in this space mm -hmm. all together now and also um, is that the seasons, the sun and what the earth is doing. Mm -hmm. And so um, with the children, do you use, what kind of activities do you, do you do with them? Okay, so let's see. This is March. It was just the, um, the summer or the spring equinox and um, it's pretty significant for you know, for for everybody in, in this area of the world, um, in terms of, I, for some people it's the beginning of their new year. Uh, our for Cherokee people, our, our traditional New Year's in the fall, but for a lot of people around this time is the beginning of the new year. Also, um, it's the beginning of the time when you can start to plant, um, and it's the beginning of a ceremonial new year for a lot of people. And so, actually, what we'll be doing. Today, for example, is we have uh, clay, and I'm going to uh, tell them, share with them one of the, a small story about the, the origin of pottery and how we got as Cherokee people ideas to do pottery, um, and then we'll be making quail pots, um, and then we I have some I don't have pottery stamps because this is a, an old way of decorating pottery, but I've got some I call them better than pottery stamps because they're things like pine cones or driftwood, um, so. You can imagine the earth can come up with more interesting designs than we ever can. And so we'll be making pots, and then we'll be stamping them, and then we'll be designing um, what we're going to paint on them based on the things that help plants grow. So I'm going to, one of the things we encounter is that um, a lot of our children, they're familiar with uh, Nike signs and um, television signs, but when I say, okay, I want you to draw something. Um, from your culture, they might not know. Uh, so we're going to talk about what makes things grow. You know, uh, bees, earth, sun, nice words, and I'm going to have them put representations of those things on their pots. Um, some of the other stuff we've done is we've done traditional games. Uh, no gambling, but you know, a lot of the games are gambling. We, we didn't actually gamble, but we, you know, we do some of uh, traditional games. Um, some of the ones where you use baskets and beans, other ones where you've got a hoop and you've got to throw uh, like an arrow through. Um, we have studied about Cahokia, which is ancient mound building, mm -hmm. a city that was located about three hours away from here. Uh, we've made cradle boards. Uh, we've had guest artists come in. Um, to we've made uh, we made a hand drum for one session. Um, we've done like a stranger danger session as well. So. Uh, we try to keep a, a variety of activities. Mm -hmm. Nice. And with the, you know, with the, um, your Cherokee background, how did you come to the I always say I removed myself um, <laughs> because mm -hmm. when we came out here, uh, we actually went, we stopped along some of the sites of the Trail of Tears mm -hmm. um, because I have my particular line, you know, we stayed in North Carolina, but one of my great greats, um, the rest of them, they all went to Oklahoma. So I have I have family out there that we, you know, I don't know them anymore. We've lost contact, but um, and so we did go along the different sites um, as far as we could follow them, where 
the troop stopped with people on the Trail of Tears when we came out here. So, you know, it was kind of um, sad, actually, because I thought, I'm removing myself, you know? <laughs> um, but I have found this area, the Midwest, to be um, a very kind of welcome and opening area. You know, the people of the Kansas City Indian Center, um, and also there's a rough, maybe, I'd like to say about 300 or 400 Cherokee people here also. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are from Oklahoma, but there's also several Cherokee people from North Carolina, especially Haskell, which is right down the road. Um, but people have been very welcoming here. Um, in North Carolina, we have, I would say we have more, more trees and better food, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, uh, the southern way is a little more uh, closed. I think it's just because of the history of the South and out here, maybe it's the land itself is a little more open, the people are, are a little more open. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoyed um, getting to know the community here and, and I'm grateful that I've been so welcome to. Yeah. Nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And again we're with uh, Marcia and um, Mora, Mora Garcia. Um, and uh, here at the Kansas City Indian so, uh, it's, well, it's an honor. Uh, and, uh, Pleasure to have you on. My name is Steve. Ah, Steve, Thank you. Uh, so, till next time.